Will Olvida remember a lover from so long ago? Would I? The last house in Malden. All of it should be here. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will.
gentle if they spot me. Attack on sight here. Something going on.
This key should unlock Alvida's cage. This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend of Elrich's. Is he all right? The poor boy. Not you. Someone else who wishes to rekindle of a friendship. They see me, this will get messy. My bones ache. Gentler, please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. My ankle. Oh, the pain. Beat me. Ah, uh, 
my leg. It pains. We're almost there. Bless the saints! Here you are, sister, safe and well. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Illerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia. He sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Beerston. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerston. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. I had forgotten his charm. Still so boyish and eager to make me happy. <laughs> Silly arse. She has not changed at all. Her soft features, her earthy strength. She will make a good wife.
How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Unleash your war dogs. Set things afire. Bring panic. Act like the barbarians they think us to be. We'll stick their hearts with needles of fear. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. This is what we do to sex and god slaves. We kill it. Won't let us lose. Take their aid and their women. I can't. Stand down, you Saxon dogs. The Lady of Essex is ours. We bring Christ mercy. I am ready when the time comes. Stop you! The hell with you! I'm being kidnapped! Kidnapped! Guards! Guards! Take their ale and their women! We will feast like kings tonight! You're coming with me! Oh! Oh, this is too foul, Dane! Guards! Oh, woe unto me! Put me down! Hold it, spirit! You wouldn't fool a child with that howling! Unhand me, fiend! Guards! Guards! We are safe enough to walk, I think, aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? What? 
trample me! It is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrit, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Piston. No doubt he's hunting again. Pressed sword to sword with your father, Ronald. Yes! <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. Made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believed me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life? Or an old life renewed? My old life, Frankia. Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Did you dream while you sleepwalked? I did. I dreamed that all my fleeting happiness was a prelude to something bigger. Glimpses of greater joy. Greater love. Lie with me, Eivor, under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight, but tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you will not look back. Shh, still your lips and come here. Barbarians took her, then she is already with God. Each lad is on hund with me.
Hold faith, for soon we'll be hunting. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Beerston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear, I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands, I trust in your judgment. And how is Alvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. This table won't fill itself. This table won't fill itself. did well, Eivor. Eh, 
A good hunt, Bierston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to worrying Jarls and piss sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerstan, the heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvida is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Ellerich? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beerston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Eivor, did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. It's not coyness that keeps me quiet, Birsten. We grew close. I won't say more. Fair enough. I should not pry. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. Hurry back, Beerston. I will join you later for the feast. Home and hearth never used to stir the soul as the hunt did. But now my Alvider is here. All is changed. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart, not for one waking or sleeping moment, and already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt, one that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? 
The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> my lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Hush, Angel. Do not fret so. He hates me. What have I done? We must go after him. He will not stray far, Lamb. Much has been said this day, but if... If he is my son, our son, we must believe he will return to us. Oh. Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. <laughs> Rolo! Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork. Stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us and Beeston. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Lark! Hold it now! Release the woman, Danes! If she's unharmed, we may let some of you in!
Together, lads, we have this! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come, and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Birsten got his end of the bargain, and Esther is to Frankia. I should return to Runley. <laughs> <laughs> 